Welcome to this demo of My Yesterday. My Yesterday is a system that allow you to upload photos and generate meaningful text to honor the life of a loved one. You can then convert that information into meaningful keepsakes in the form of slideshows, picture books, and storybooks to share with friends and family. Let's show you how it works. So to begin, we're going to log into the system. And we're brought to the main menu. Everything that we need to do is kind of architected from left to right, top to bottom. So let's start with the personal data. This is a section of the site that just captures factual information about the person. So starting with number one and working our way down, we would enter any information about the marriages that they had. And if we click to edit here, we can just simply see the sorts of information that we're going to be gathering. Name, suffix, uh, date of birth, age, date of the marriage, how long they were married. That sort of information. Same goes with family. So we can see here we have a typo, so let's go ahead and edit that. We can add as many family members as we'd like. Uh, we can go on to religious affiliations, add close friends, education, military service if they were in it. Once we're done with that, all that information is stored in the system and is used to generate text later on, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, if you are doing this process in preparation for a memorial service, there's the option to do a short story. That's going to be a simple two-page handout that you could use in any uh, memorial celebration. So to complete that, we go through this simple nine-step process. And a lot of this information might already be entered into the system when you signed up or uh, when you went through the personal data wizard but we give you the opportunity to verify the information is correct to make any changes that you would need so step one just address where they lived where they were born uh, any place they lived formerly that was a main part of their life once again the marriages enter their family members and now we're going to go through a simple three-step personality wizard. By answering these questions, we're seeding the system with information that it can then use to generate text about the individual. So here we entered uh, information about their military career, um, what they did for a living, how their co-workers viewed them. We answered a couple simple questions on their hobbies and what they like to do in their leisure time. Then we answer a couple questions about their personality. And from those few short questions and those facts that we seeded the system with, we refresh the text here. And the system will actually go and write the short story for us. Now we can always go in, edit, and change and modify anything that we didn't like that was auto-generated, but you can see we've already got a very good start to our short story. Once we're happy with the text, we can go ahead and hit Next, and we're going to format the layout of the short story. So you can see it's generating this text into pages that we can then go ahead and print out. And when you see these orange squares, each orange square allows us to choose a photo to include. So if we have photos already loaded, we can just simply select them, or we can click this link here that would allow us to upload additional photos to the site. Once we're happy with our short story, we can go ahead and view the storybook.
and the system allows us to look to see how the short story will print out. We can flip through it to make sure we're happy with the layout. Once we're satisfied with that, we can close this tab, get back to the system, and let's go ahead and hit the back to main menu. Continuing on, uh, we have the story generator. That's just a longer version of the short story personality wizard. What this is gonna allow us to do is to generate a complete biography of our loved one. Uh, we can include up to three main chapters for younger years, adult years, and later years, and we can pick all sorts of sub-chapters that can be contained within it. So just to give you a feel of how that looks, the first thing we do is we enter a preface, uh, just an introductory to the book. Um, just to show you that, the system is going to auto-generate one, but if we weren't happy with that text, we can simply hit this swap text and see alternate versions of intros that we might be interested in. Once we're happy with that, we can go on to younger years, pick uh, or answer the questions that pop up, and then just simply hit next. So we can optionally include information about the decade they grew up in, background historical information like uh, major trends in pop culture, movies, political events, that sort of thing. We hit next and we move on to family and we start answering questions specific to that topic. So what was his favorite holiday? Uh, what describes his household growing up? What kind of chores was he responsible for? And then we can refresh the text and the system will have generated this content. Now we can also click the add content and look at other other sample text that we can optionally add into the system. So William was a uh, first generation immigrant, so we might want to look at that information. And we can say, well, he didn't immigrate as a child, but he grew up in this immigrant household. So that one applies nicely. So we're going to add that to our story. And it just adds that paragraph to the end for us. If we wanted to, we could just simply hit next, 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 and work our way all the way through. We can also use the links over here to jump around a bit. So we can jump to the different areas of the story, view it, edit the text, etc. Um, in the text editor, we can move paragraphs up and down. We can edit them to read with whatever we wanted to type in. We can swap them out, and we can use that ad content throughout the system as well. Uh, one feature that we want to just mention is we can invite others to help as well. We can go and invite our friends, family, and other loved ones of, of Bill to add pictures or supply content. Maybe I don't know that much about uh, his younger years in grade school, so I could find an old grade school friend that might be willing to help. Uh, at any point, we can preview all the text, and we can see through answering the questions the text the computer has written for us. And once we're happy with that, we can go back to the main menu. As you've seen in a couple other steps along the way, we have a link to the media library. That's where we go and upload photos to the site. So you can see we've already uploaded a num 92 separate photos for Bill. When we upload them, we have the option to caption them. We can edit it by cropping, rotating, etc. And we can also categorize a, a picture. So here's one that's going to be associated with high school years. What categorizing is going to allow us to do is as we're creating our books, our picture books, story books, or our slideshows, if we're looking for a specific photo or a specific group of photos, the, the categorization is going to help us uh, filter those so we only see ones applicable to that particular topic. I'm going to click back to the main menu and show you how a slideshow is created. We click Add New Slideshow. And we go through a simple three-step wizard to create a slideshow. It's pretty quick and easy. So we select the background color we want. Do we want to display captions if they exist? 
How long do we want a, a transition between slides? Do we want to include a collage slide? Uh, what this will do is just take all of our photos and randomly place them in these boxes and in, as an introductory slide. So we'll include one of those. And we can optionally upload music to play behind the slideshow. In step two, we simply go ahead and drag the photos that we want to include onto our slideshow. Or we could hit add all if we wanted to. And then simply to reorganize or change the order of them, we just drag and drop and they're able to be ordered in the, pro in the way that we like. Let's go ahead and hit next. And all we have to do is proof it and say it's done. So now we can hit view slideshow. And the slideshow will start playing. And we'll just let that play for a minute. You can see the collage slide that we selected. And once this is complete, then it's going to simply start looping through the photos in the order that we chose. And we can see the captions and then the five second transition. Okay. Going back to our main menu, let's go and take a look at a picture book. This is very much similar to the short story wizard that we went through earlier. But let's look at this picture or this this book and go ahead and see how it was created. So in our book, we can go and look at any of the pages we already have, or we can add an additional page. We click on a page. We see those familiar orange boxes just like we saw in the short story. And any of them we can go ahead and change by simply clicking on one of the boxes and that'll bring up our media library. We choose a new picture and it would be replaced. We can change the template of any page. We have a number of different templates you can choose from, from multiple pictures, different layouts, that sort of thing. So if you wanted to swap the template for this two photo one, you would just go and select it. Or we can add an additional page down here at the bottom. Um, you have up to 414 pages that are possible in the book. Uh, the pricing varies, so just pay attention when you're ordering or when you're signing up for the site to see what your pricing model would be. Once we've configured all the pages in the book, we can preview it just like we did with the short story. And we can see the system generating our book. And the system will generate a proof of our picture book that we can flip through and verify that we like everything, how it's laid out. Once we're satisfied with that, close this window and go back to the main menu. And now we can do the exact same thing with storybooks, just adding in the concept of text. So here, let's go ahead and create a new storybook. And we'll make a portrait version of the book. Now all that text that we generated back in the story generator, that's going to be used in this storybook wizard. So we can go ahead and pick a background that we like. We'll pick the American flag. We can click on the title and give it a title.
And then we could also put text on the spine. So I'm just going to put the title here again. And lastly, our orange boxes, remember, are for pictures. So we can select that and find a photo that we want to include on the cover. Once we're happy with the cover, we go ahead and hit Next. And we're just going to start going chapter by chapter. So we're going to include a preface. It's going to take the text from our preface and place it onto a page. We can select a photo to associate with it. Hit next topic. And now we're on to younger years. We'll just pick a couple so you get a flavor for it. So we'll just pick family and grade school here. We hit next. It's gonna provide a transition page for our chapter. We can pick a picture that we wanna associate with it. I picked the wrong one there. So to switch it, you can see how easy that is. And then we can go ahead and hit next. And if we didn't like this template, say we wanted more pictures on it, we can simply hit the change template button down here. And we can see we have templates that are just text, templates that are text and pictures, or templates that are just pictures. So when you find a layout that you're happy with, let's say I wanted to include this one with the two pictures, we just simply hit change template. The system's gonna adjust the text to see how much fits on that template and may add additional pages at the end. We click on our orange boxes to pick photos that we wanna include. And once we're happy with that, go to next page. And we can see, okay, that's all the text we had in that particular chapter. We hit next. And we move on to the next topic of grade school. We repeat that process again until we're done with our book. Once again, just like we did with the storybook, we could preview it and publish it. Once we're back on our main menu, we can always revisit any of these pieces of, uh, of functionality that we reviewed. But once we've completed a slideshow, picture book, storybook, we can go and place our order and have them printed and sent to us directly. Thank you so much for your time in this demonstration. I hope it gave you a, a good flavor of what's possible with my yesterday. Uh, we have a complete YouTube channel that walks through in detail all the features of the site and we encourage you to use that uh, as a resource as you're using the My Yesterday system. And thank you for your time and hope you have a pleasant experience with My Yesterday. Goodbye.